Tonight, News 5 investigates what's really in your CBD products. As gummies, oils, and other items get easier to come by, experts want to make sure what you're getting is safe. News 5's Brianna Hollis is live outside of Lotus CBD in Foley. And Bree, what are the main concerns here? <laughs> So industry experts are worried that people just aren't getting the right information, that someone's going to be interested, go pick up a product at a gas station like I did with this one, but then not ask any questions about it. I mean, if you're going to buy something for your health, you might as well go to someone who knows what they're doing. At Lotus CBD and Foley, 20 to 30 minutes, um, you're going to start feeling the effects. Owner Chase Smith is one of those people. You want to stay away from anything with vegetable, glycerin, or propylene glycol. That's not just some scientific gibberish. He has the papers to prove it. Usually to show them that they're getting what they're asking for, they're paying for what they're getting, and that the product has actually been tested by a third party. It's not actually based on my opinion or the company's. It's the same story at Compound Pharmaceutical Technologies in Daphne. So you can actually scan the, the lot right there, and on the website you can go and find uh, the certificate of analysis I've been talking about. And customers there are just steps away from a licensed medical professional who can give them more info. The patients are out there maybe taking them not understanding what other medications could interact with their CBD oil. Um, and so they need to get a licensed professional um, opinion for that. Now, we picked up some CBD vaping oil from a gas station and asked both Smith and Hart to read the fine print. The first two ingredients are actually vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol. Do those two words sound familiar? Well, it's because you heard them about 30 seconds ago. They're labeled VG and PG, and before we even showed him the product, Smith told us those are two things you want to avoid when buying CBD. Both of those can lead to what's called popcorn lung, which is a swelling of the, um, the lungs and the interior. So they're really getting good professional guidance on what to do. Is that convenience store employee uh, going to be able to answer the questions that you need answered? Another warning sign, if you don't see that barcode on the back of something you're buying or lab results aren't readily available, it's probably a sign you're not getting what you paid for. We're live in Foley tonight. Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.